Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a long awaited, maybe only for my sister, but uh, today I am doing my sister made me buy it video. And so I've got a basket full of things here and I've got a couple skincare things, a couple of uh, makeup products, couple lip products, all that good stuff. My sister also did a video about my sister made me buy it or bought it for me type thing. And I will link that as well as her channel below. But if this sounds like fun to you, then just keep on watching. let's go ahead and do skincare and definitely one of the first things that my sister recommended to me when I started getting back into skincare and beauty and makeup was a moisturizer and it has become well loved not only in my own skincare routine but now my son uses it as well he's 14 years old and he's starting to struggle with breakouts and things like that as we all have. This is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream for normal to combo skin. I don't know why they call it a cream whatsoever. It is definitely a gel. You're not gonna be able to see much other than there is this just light green gel down here. It almost looks like if you would mash up cucumbers, that's what it would look like. And I love this. I will definitely get another one of these for myself come summer because Coming home at the end of the day, let's say you go to the beach or wherever and you're washing your face, you're washing the sweat off, you know, maybe you got a little sun on your face that day, don't forget to wear your sunscreen, kids. But this is amazing. You put it on and I could even see putting this in the refrigerator and then putting this on your face after your skincare routine at night and it would just feel amazing. I love this. It's not quite enough for my skin now that I have it reined in and I'm more like normal combo skin versus oily skin. It's not quite enough for me during the colder months. Um, I use more of a cream, but this will be amazing come summer. Absolutely would and could wear it under makeup. Um, if I was using a different um, sunscreen or like I love the IT CC cream, which has an SPF of 50 in it, I could put this under there, maybe a primer, and then the IT CC cream, and that would be an amazing combo. My son actually keeps this in the shower, which I think is really cute. I wouldn't ever think to put my moisturizer on in the shower probably, but that's what he does, and if it works for him, I'm totally fine with it. So yeah, he cleanses his skin in the shower and then he slathers this all over his face right away. And as long as he's using it and taking care of his skin, I'm all for it. And then the next skincare item is again, another Garnier product. My sister loves Garnier and for a good reason. I think they have some really good yet affordable skincare. And this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. All in one mattifying for oily skin, even sensitive, no oil and no fragrance. And this is what it looks like. I just mentioned or showed my empty one in my beauty trash video that I filmed recently. And so I really like this. I will disclaim, however, at least with this one, they do have ones that are for more sensitive or dry skin. And you know, they have a couple different kinds. They have a blue lid, a pink lid, and this is the green one for oily skin. But um, I will say, don't use this to remove eye makeup. Um, I, it does a really good job, but if you struggle with any dryness whatsoever under your eyes, this is what did me dirty. <laughs> I've been looking for an eye cream for a while now that would help take care of some of the dryness on my under eye, which I'd never noticed before. And I finally figured out this is what it was. This is what's been drying my under eye out. <clears throat> it does take makeup off like a dream and I still will use it for all over my face um, but don't use this on your eyes use something that's recommended for removing eye makeup um, especially if you have you know skin that's starting to mature or already is very mature and you're struggling with fine lines wrinkles crepiness under your eye find something that's more like a cream or something like that that'll be more gentle on your under eye so that's it for skincare. The next thing is a tool, and this changed the entire game for me in wearing foundation or anything of the like. 
Um, this is kind of scuzzy because it's an old one, but this is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I love that it has this sort of chiseled edge. That's what I'll use to put the foundation all over my face. And then I like this pointed side because I can really get in there um, to blend out my concealer. Of course, you use this damp. The only downside to this one, I would say, is it doesn't come as clean as my other beauty sponges. I do have the L'Oreal Infallible one, which I bought at the exact same time as this one. And I also have the Flower Beauty sponge, and I like them all. But I noticed this one started to sort of crack. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it started to crack and show, oh yeah, see where it's kind of split? It started to, that happened like within the first few days of me using it. I hadn't cleaned it yet other than like a sort of pre-rinse, a little tiny bit of Beauty Blender solid type thing. And so I'm not for sure why. Uh, I can't remember who I was watching today who also said, oh, I think it was Robin's Cup of Tea. And she says she hated this, which I don't hate it. I like it for applying makeup, but in terms of coming clean and sort of general wear and tear, I think, you know, there are better options out there. This one's just about on its way out the door, which is why I have three right now. Um, the Flower Beauty sponge I've had for a while, just kind of on a backup, because I like to have more than one sponge at a time. So. I do love that one though. Thanks, Emma. And then the next thing that Emma recommended to me is uh, this Pixie by Petra, what do they call it exactly? Pat Away Concealing Base. And I have the shade Nude. This is what it looks like. Um, Pixie is not cheap and this was definitely a little spendy. I'm pretty sure it's close to 20 bucks, although you do get a lot of product in here. Um, it is very, I venture to say that this is at least the applicator, um, dupey for the shape tape, but I think this formula is better. Shape tape falls under the category of things I regret buying. Look for that in a later video, but I like this. I think this is a better alternative. It's not quite as drying under my eyes. It is what I'm wearing to dye, so it is nice and brightening. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. I think it will take forever to use up. Um, the shelf life is 12 months. I think if this was your only concealer, you probably could use it up in 12 months. I probably won't, unfortunately. Um, but it would be one I would consider repurchasing in the future. And then another face product is this. And anybody who has watched Emma's channel would not be surprised to see this also over on my channel. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It says it's in the shade Be My Highlight, number 10. I've never ever seen another shade of this available. This is what it looks like. I'll give you a quick little swatchy. There it is. I just think, and everybody else I hear talk about this, I think this is the perfect everyday highlighter for just about anybody from very, very fair to very, very dark. I love this highlighter. It is smooth and buttery. There's no glitter in it. I mean, I just love this. I, If I didn't have hourglass power, powders or the ability to purchase them, I absolutely would put this all over my face. I know my sister does. Um, if I'm ever sort of going back and forth in my head about what highlight am I gonna wear today or what would look good with this look in terms of a highlighter, this is the one I will grab every single time. If I can't decide what highlighter I'm gonna wear, I will wear this one. If I want to have a natural glow to my skin, I will wear this one. I mean, it's just great. You can't overdo it. There's no glitter in it, which I appreciate. I absolutely detest highlighters that have glitter in them. And it's super cheap. It's I know it's less than four or five dollars, but I want to say it's like three or four dollars. You can get this at Ulta, and I highly recommend it to all of you. I mean, it's just gorgeous, very natural. So let's go ahead and do lips, and then I have my final thing, um, which is my most re recent. My sister made me buy it thing. First, we'll start with what I'm wearing today, and that is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick 
in the shade Cherry Picking, and I love this lipstick. And funny story, my sister had recommended this line to me as something that was a really, 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 really long-lasting lipstick. At the time, that was sort of my jam. I wasn't in a position to be reapplying lipstick all the time. And this is really long-lasting. Like, this will be on all day. I may have to touch up just in terms of opacity, having it, you know, be a complete coverage lipstick, but it stains your lips. Uh, I can't really see it anymore, but I had swatched it on my hand earlier and then took a piece of toilet tissue and tried to get it off and, you know, I had to wash my hand <laughs> because it left a dark stain. I like it. It does pull and tug just a little bit on the lips versus a regular bullet lipstick, but for me, that's worth it if it's going to stay on all day. So this does. Funny story though, my sister recommended the formula to me and she, you know, said that she had a color or two that she really liked in her collection and I picked one up at Walmart, you know, and was like, oh, I found this color. I really love it and I do really love it. And she's, and I told her what it was called and she said, I kid you not, I have the exact same shade. So funny. We live in different states, but somehow we ended up with the same Wet n Wild lipstick and I think that's fun. And then the other thing that she had recommended to me way back in the beginning of my journey in beauty, not way back, I've been at it for less than a year, somewhere between six months and a year, and that's the NYX Butter Glosses. I have one Butter Gloss and one Intense Butter Gloss here. Um, the Butter Glosses have the same color lid as, you know, relatively the product, and then the Intense Butter Glosses have these metallic lids. The regular Butter Gloss I have in Tiramisu, and I love the shade. It's a great everyday shade. It's something you can definitely apply to your lips without a mirror because it's very forgiving. It's not got complete opacity. I will swatch it for you. I don't know why I'm just talking and not, you know, giving you an idea what it looks like. But this is what it looks like, the shade Tiramisu. You can see it's not fully opaque, but it definitely has a good um, color to it. And I really like that one. <clears throat> and then the Intense Butter Gloss that I have is Toasted Marshmallow, which is kind of an odd color name to me for this sort of bear, dark berry color. But I do like this one. And this one also kind of stains my lips a little bit, so I don't mind. Um, but that's it right there. That's a horrible swatch, but <laughs> just so you can get an idea of how dark it is. I really like this one. It's a good winter shade for me, and this is like a good all year round. Be something good to just keep in your purse. And then the last thing, the most recent thing I bought because my sister made me probably in nearly every single video of hers, at least in the first month of us doing YouTube, my sister talked about this palette, and it is the Too Faced Clover palette. It was my palette of the week last week. Um, this packaging is pure nonsense, I, <laughs> but it's so adorable. I think it's super cute. I definitely did not fall in the trap of buying this whatsoever for the packaging, but it is truly adorable. My, si my sister, my daughter, who is very similar to my sister, my daughter loves that it has a narwhal on it, and then... This is what you're getting. Wah! I fail at this so bad. So, let's see. Oh, there we go. This is what you're getting. A couple of neutrals in here that are great for transition work or, or things like that, blending out. Um, but lots and lots of color in here. Just a few of my favorites. I will swatch on my other hand if I can do that. I really, really enjoyed working with this palette last week. I had some of the most fun, colorful, vibrant looks, as well as I was able to get, you know, a neutral look out of this as well. But I want to show you my three favorite metallics here because they're so unique. These are the three shades. This turquoise one is called Spoiled, and it's just a, you know, a turquoise metallic shade. And then this purple is everything. I don't even know. It looks duochrome but I couldn't tell you what the duochrome in it is. Um, and that one is called TF Mascot. And then this one 
is definitely one of the colors that sent me lusting after this palette. And it's called Best Friends. It's got a brown plummy base to it and then it has a turquoise reflect. And it is gorgeous both on the hand and on the eye. So I really love this. I'm glad I went ahead. I sat on this product for a long time. I wanted to make sure I just wasn't attracted to the colors, but that I would use the colors and that I didn't already own any of these in my collection. You know, maybe these brown shades on the bottom I could dupe out of my collection, but other than that, everything is really unique in here. I love this burnt orange shimmer. This bright yellow is not as scary as it looks and it is gorgeous for you know blending out another shade i just love this so much i even found a little bit of a love for this shade called puppy eyes this white um it just is really interesting and unique it probably yeah it doesn't show up at all in a swatch but it's an amazing inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight which means you can actually get a complete look out of this you know you can set your eye with this you definitely have transition shades, just everything you need in this palette, and I love it. Super reflective, so I'm sorry if I'm blinding you, <laughs> but yeah, I love this palette. I'm so glad. I did wait. I waited until both Ulta and Sephora were sold out of it, and then I finally bit the bullet and ordered it straight from Too Faced, which was nice because I got a deluxe sample size of the Shadow Insurance Primer, and I also got a deluxe sample size of the Better Than Sex Mascara. So I can form my own opinions on that. And yeah, I love this. I'm so glad that my sister made me buy it. So I hope you guys like this video. Again, I will link Emma's channel as well as her video with the things that I made her buy down below in the description box. Click that like button if you would, and also subscribe while you're here. I do upload quite a lot of content at least four days a week, and you can also follow me over on Instagram at journeyandbeauty, all one word. Until the next one, bye.